Hello, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement as I'm finally getting a chance to get to season two, episode seven of Invincible and I don't know where we are going. Rex is having a renaissance of some sort and I'm gonna get Rex and Ross, Russ? Russ, Ross, Rex. They're gonna get confused in my head. Just saying. Mark and Amber are on the outs, question mark, question mark, and Nolan's in prison where they're, they're doing the torture of let's make you as hearty and healthy as possible and then we'll execute you. So fun times, yeah. So we're just gonna get right to it because why not? And I'm so glad that you are here with me for this adventure. So we're gonna get under the big cozy blanket because even though the spring has sprung, it's still cold down here, it is. It is. Uh, you're gonna remember full episode watch long is available on Patreon. I have had some sort of back spasm. I don't know what it is. So if you see me go, eh, just ignore me. <laughs> it's counted as one of my motor tics. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let's just get to it, y'all. Am I me again, William? Yeah, why would they do that to us? We've got Rex, Ross, Russ, and Rick. Wow, this is a Thanos knockoff, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe you should try asking whatever alien or mad scientist you're fighting for a photo next time. Pretend you're a fan. <laughs> With a few of them, that might just work. <gasps> is that really what I look like? If you think that's weird. Where are they? Look are they at a... Are they at a con? <laughs> yes? Why can't we just live here? We could rent a booth, set up a little tent. Because you die from a comic book overdose in like three hours. Is that the only thing that can take down a Voltramite is overconsumption of comic books? Cause that would be a twist. We don't have to stay here all day, you know? Seance dog! Wait a second. Are we in a line? For who? Ma. Philip Shaft's doing a signing. You said the fact that we're together is what matters, right? Man, I'm a huge fan. I gotta ask, when's a new season of Seance Dog coming out? You mean the show? Probably not for another year. Sorry, animation takes a long time. Oh, I can't imagine how much work it must be for those fight scenes. We cut corners in other places to make it manageable. You ever notice that sometimes whoever's speaking has their mouth off camera so you never see their lips moving? <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> Other times we'll do a wide shot, slowly pan across it. But sometimes the artists get carried away and it kind of looks like a different show. Thanks for coming by! No, thank you! I'm gonna watch season two way closer. We love a good meta joke, y'all. I don't know, I thought Artist Alley looked cool. Here's the funny thing is I just dropped my youngest off at SakuraCon today because that's happening this weekend in Seattle. So we are, <laughs> this is so fresh for me. I'd go myself, but I'm tying up a loose end. Sure, text me where he is. Eve, I'm on a date with Amber. You're gonna ditch me at Comic-Con, aren't you? Can you wait? Is there somebody else? Rex is in trouble, but maybe I could. No, it's okay, go. Thanks for holding on to that stuff for me. You're the best. I love you. He transferred it to her shoulder. Why is Rex back in action? Shouldn't he be recovering? How long has it been? How long has it been? You've done this a hundred times. You've made it through each one. Even a bullet to the head couldn't kill you. You're going to send him packing back to planet bullshit or wherever he came from. Because your Rex explode and that's how you do things. <laughs> Do take more than dirt at hurt octopus. What? <laughs> what? You hear words? <laughs> oh no. Why didn't you say something stupid sooner? Do your pal sound as dumb as you do? So he's a distraction. Did much time learn your language. Sorry, Ab, don't make me words perfect. <laughs> Oh, no. 
Stop those idiots. I've got Davy Jones covered. Sure? Dude, please. I need this. Is this when we lose Rex? Because that would be some messed up storytelling. Oh, that's right. His new arm. Hand. Appendage. And they didn't tell him about this before he left on his mission? Huh. Next time, open with that. After, you know, <laughs> I just thought I needed to get back on the horse. It was either that or retire and open a bar someplace hot. Wait, why am I not doing that again? Yeah, I felt the same way after my dad and I. Yeah, I bet. Actually, I'm not sure anyone else could come back from what you went through. Also, I can't believe you can grow new teeth. Oh, fuck. I wish I had that superpower. <laughs> I owe you, so I'll tell you what. You pick the day, and the Guardians and I will cover for you, no matter what. Cecil can blow it out his ass. Despite everything we've been through, we're still the best superhero team on the fucking planet. Are they the only superhero team on the planet? Relax. You relax. The system is designed to interpret your thoughts and... Oh, there you go. Now we can reset and... Useless. And there's no way I'm letting you stuff a chip in my head so it works better. It's a minor medical procedure. Amanda, wait. It would stop you from needing to transform. You wouldn't get any younger and could age normally. Oh. Let me fix you. That is a thought. She doesn't need to be broken. Not broken. What sidetrack? Your help. So as she ages, she'll age normally if she doesn't change. And then she just regrets when she regresses when she changes back. But if she were to go like six months without changing, she would age six months. What about it? We're supposed to be the best there is. Oh, that's best superheroes on the planet. And? You serious? Okay, let's do the lineup. You got a guy who's supposed to be a genius, but the best idea he could come up with was to make himself a new body with DNA he stole from a coworker, so he could date a different coworker who currently does not want to date him. <laughs> Our leader's a guy who's so old, he shits dust. And his boss is a suit who sacrifices all in a second to save white America. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first, you're bald. And hair was Samson's whole thing. I had hair when I picked the name. But you're right. We're not the best superhero team on the planet. We're a family. And like any family, we're all messed up in our own unique way. But we're unbreakable when it counts. Are they? Are they? Request denied. It wasn't a request. A Zimoto quitting? You want to quit? Absolutely not. I was already broken, Cecil. Kate's death just finished me off. You're not quitting. How about this a vacation? This is a temporary leave of absence. That vacation we talked about. Do you understand me? Where are you even going? Home. Where it where, where is where? Did you really think this was over? We're just getting started. Oh, is Rick having flashbacks? It appears it's just you, me, and science. Shall we begin? No! <laughs> it's okay. I'm here. You all better sleep with a nightlight, because in the dark, you won't know who you are. I don't know what's worse. D.A. Sinclair taking me apart or those doctors putting me back together. No, Donald, you cannot resign. <laughs> Jesus, is there something in the water today? <laughs> ah. <laughs> How am I supposed to be me? You erased my memories. Oh. That wasn't my decision. Oh, whose decision was it? Then whose was it? Sit. Yours? Remember, you asked for this. Run! So I'm taking it. This is not the first time he's been rebuilt. We're here. I'm coming. 
Yup. <laughs> How many are there? That's sweet. But we practiced this. It was a genuine family emergency. That's all you have to say. The Dean will see you now. Is the Dean the someone we know? Like Dr. Seismic? <laughs> no. Wait, Reginald? I had a family emergency, but I'm back now, and I promise I I'm know all about your family emergency. Principal Winslow? It's Dean Winslow now, Mark. Since when? I didn't know you <laughs> moved schools. Not a big reader of University News Monthly, I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I was any other dean, you'd already be suspended. But I know about your father, and I can only imagine how difficult it's been oh. since he's passed. Sir. But you need to make a choice, Mark. If it's college, then commit to that. If it's not, then commit to something else. But I'll give you a month to prove me wrong. That's fair. I chose to have my memories erased, but it's your call. It's always been your call. Do it. I'll tell the team. To what, erase his memories again? I think we'll be able to get at least 150 over asking. I mean, the market's hot, but you? Are hotter, no. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm finally back in the groove. Uh, Debbie? Hmm? I was wondering if um, you'd like to have dinner with me. Oh, that's fine. It was stupid. I'm stupid. We work together. I'm sorry. How's Thursday? Did you have a fun day? We learned about animals. Earth animals. I think <laughs> you have to specify. I thought telling Amber the truth would fix everything. I'm still a terrible boyfriend. She just knows why now. When you and Dad first met, you dated, right? What, did you think we just met, got married, and had you? No, but, yeah, but what was it like? For you, I mean. He literally swept me off my feet. I mean, I was dating a superhero. But it, he was also gone for so much of our time together. Is it really a relationship if you're mostly alone? Ooh, that is a sentence. Well, I guess it was technically a question, but you know what I mean, the sentiment. No, because I wouldn't have you or Oliver, even if it's just the three of us now. Wow, she took that baby in right quick. Hey, Rick. Do you think this is high enough? Don't talk like that. This is terrible. I'm missing parts of me and I don't know what to do. I know how you're feeling. No, you don't. Wow. That was some upgrades. <laughs> I've died 39 times so far. That's how many times they brought me back, even though there was less of me to save each time. How? How can you live with that? I haven't been. I couldn't. I had them erase my memory. That was a mistake. Each time I died, each time I was put back together, it was because I helped make this world a little better. We're not our bodies. We're the decisions we make, the lives we change, the, the people we love. I don't need to forget that, and neither do you. <laughs> but they're not on the ground yet. Yeah, out? Oh. Nothing under my clothes. Oh. No calls to go save the world. It's just us tonight. For now. And I made a deal with Cecil to guarantee me two nights a week off going forward. I know it hasn't been easy recently, but I'm making a choice. And that choice is you. For now. Wait no more, cause this is the type of thing you can't ignore. It. Being flown through the air just does not sound appealing to me at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's like driving in a convertible with top down, but way worse. Easy. You sit on my back and I can hold the suitcase in each hand. Spring break in Hawaii, huh? 
and you're going to trust them to fly you over the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Should I ask Cecil for a salary? I mean, then you'd really be working for him. Mark Grayson, come with me now. What? Or this woman dies. What? My name is Anissa, and I'm an agent of the Viltrum Empire. What do you want? To talk is that where we can speak alone? I think there was a nicer way to go about that. If you leave without hurting her or anyone else, I'll meet you above us in the sky. Be quick. Otherwise, I will return here and everyone dies. Run! Beginning with her. Run! <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Welcome to life dating a superhero. Come back. I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> I love how his arms are already cocked back, ready to fight. I said I only wished to speak. That hasn't been my experience with Viltrumite so far. How little you know of your own people. They're not my people. We cannot let this become another Chicago people. Get me everything that you can on her. Which is what? <laughs> you have a Dacia on every Viltrumite somewhere? The powerful of this world destroy their own home, strip resources for themselves. Hands and fists worried about stopping me instead of stopping them. We will save more of their lives in a single year than you could in a hundred. Satellites are picking up a behemoth class kaiju, South Pacific. Just cuz. Shit. Viltrumites do not kill for pleasure, even if they sometimes take pleasure in killing. Dead humans do not benefit us in any way. Is this how she's drawn in the comic book? Because she looks a lot like Supergirl from The Flash. Look, there's a chip in danger. I was wondering if there might be a reason she does look so similar. I need to go help. If you mean everything you're saying, you won't try to stop me. I will accompany you. I wish to see how strong the son of Nolan is. Where does this kaiju come from? That ship is broken. It is no longer seaworthy. Sorry, I found the most unbelievable part of that whole last few seconds was the guy in the suit just in the middle of the day running across the deck. Like, why is he wearing a suit? And they're gone. They're gone. Well, there you go. And she stopped so quickly, the blood poofed off of her. Wow. Well, that's one way to do it. Humans were dying, so I took action. Much like our empire will do when it controls Earth. Thanks. Oh shit. There's an island three miles due east. Thanks for the help. All these humans would have died if I was not here. Viltrumite occupation would make events like this a thing of the past. Be your father's son. No! Maybe humanity's not perfect, but we need to make our own decisions. Remember that we started with reason. Jeez. Jeez. Mark, you are toast. You're going to lose all your teeth again. People, run. I know it's an island, but run. Just run. You made noise. You gave away your position. You dare interrupt your education? That's what she calls it. Why are you, why are you people still on the beach? Why are you still on the beach? Sir, there's another option 
Which is what, Donald? Harkin, listen to me. Say you'll do it. Say fine. I'll take over the planet and get her to leave, and we'll get ready for these assholes together. No. This is your last chance to show me you can learn. Either you need me, or you don't. Make up your mind. <laughs> Killing you is not my task. Whose task is it then? Another will come. And if he finds you still resistant to your destiny, he will demonstrate the error of your ways and this whole planet will pay the price. Picking up speed and heading towards deep space. Keep watch. She's still going in 10 minutes. Tell everyone to stand down. How are they tracking her that deep into space? She was strong. I'm not sure I could stop her if she started killing people. Well, we're gonna figure out a way to change that. But those nights off you wanted, I'm afraid that's a thing of the past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did she find us? I don't know. Could she do it again? Obviously. Her hand was like, it's like iron on my neck. Like she could have pulled me apart in a second. Like could have, could have. So. Yes. <laughs> this isn't about being brave or strong. I know I'm those things. This is different. I have no agency, Mark. Wow. Or sad or, or feel anything when you're literally saving the world, when you disappear for months at a time. And you're a target. I don't know who I'd become if you were hurt. I can't live in your world. I want to. I really tried, but I can't. So how does this work, Mark? It doesn't. Maybe that's an answer. I'm sorry. Me too. I got a thought. Hi, Mom. Hello, Mark. <gasps> when are you coming home? I wasn't planning on it. The boy refuses both reason and heritage. You mean you failed to convince him? <laughs> Alan! Oh my god! <laughs> Can they see me? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, they definitely saw me. Who's coming out? <gasps> well, they sent us out. <laughs> huh. Last time that hurt a lot more. <laughs> He made her bleed. Our prison scientists will cut you open until we find the source of your strength. It's his heart, not literally. Girly. <laughs> Foolish, you know. That's his plan. Is that inadvertently his plan all along? Right, so my little thought was <laughs> he's broken up with Amber because they can't figure out how to have a relationship until next week when he hooks up with <laughs> Eve. <laughs> no, we want him to have some time where he's trying to find his own place in the world. Right, this season and last season, for me personally, there's a weird disconnect because I feel as if I'm still waiting for this season to find what the story is because there's too much going on. It is a salad of 
weirdness <laughs> that's happening. Season one, we had Mark getting his powers, adjusting to having powers, and then the Nolan killing the Guardians. Why is he killing him? What's his goal? What's Nolan's goal? And they, those two, both of those stories kind of hummed along parallel enough tracks. Cool. It's too much. We have, besides Eve trying to do her thing, the Guardians and falling apart, Mark. Is he with Amber? Is he not with Amber? Is he going to school? Is he being a super? Who knows? N Nolan and his family and the baby and the Thraxians. And then we've got Levy. Why do we have Levy? I don't know. And there's more in here. The lizard people. I mean, it's just too much. I prefer, instead of doing a bunch of things, let's do a few things really well. That's where my mind is at. So we have two more, three more episodes of the season, how are they gonna wrap up anything satisfactorily? That's a word, right? <laughs> yeah, that's how I'm at right now is, where are we going? Did we need this, this many plot lines? Yeah. Am I being entertained? Sometimes I just think I find myself just wondering where are we going and I'm spending too much time thinking about where we're going to go instead of enjoying the ride. That's it. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. How are you all feeling about this season in general and then this season so far? And did that monthish month and a half break, was it two months? I don't know. I can't believe we're a quarter of the way into the year and it's Easter weekend. <laughs> Did that help or hurt the pacing of the season? I would be interested to know how you all feel. Yeah, but there we go. Episode seven in the back. Where are we going next? Where are we going next? I don't know. But in the meantime, please take care of yourselves. Don't do what I did, which is I guess I breathed wrong and, and pulled muscles. <laughs> So take care of yourselves, stretch, have a wonderful weekend. If you're with family, may it go well. <laughs> but you're going to come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.